What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I am back. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am back with another video. Microsoft has a lot of things up their sleeve. They're a big, 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 one of the wealthiest companies in the world, and they're constantly making things, making products. We learned a lot of coming from this GDC 2015. Um, I think a lot of some people were let down. They said they bring in the big guns. We're looking for some big game exclusive, but they announced a lot of cross um, buy games that is going to run on Windows 10 and the Xbox One. But let's talk about some of the juicy stuff that we learned, okay? Um, Microsoft was supposedly working on a new controller for the hardcore market. They posted to show at E3 2015. Um, me personally, like I said, I'm from the old school, so if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, they have, firstly, now you can buy on the market these scuff controllers. They're about 140 bucks, and the, the programmers use them instead of having the, the buttons here. They're in the back, like paddles or something. I don't like it. It's not for me. Not locking, not, I'm sorry, not knocking those who do like it. Just not my type of team. Also, too, what else we have, what have we learned? Um, a lot. Like I told you guys. Uh, that uh, the Xbox One still has a lot of MPD non-disclosure agreements that they can't talk about a lot of things under the hood. And you guys said, uh, the Xbox One is weak, you're just bullshitting, yada, yada, yada. Oh, am I? So, it's come out yesterday. Um, we all know who Brad Wardell is, but let's, let's get down to the juicy part here. It says, GDC 2015 continues to provide more information on the future of technology used to create games. Yesterday, yesterday, a bunch of the embargoes uh, uh, were lifted, and finally, developers were able to speak freely on these topics. As usual, startup CEO Brad Waddell maintained the promise made to his followers on Twitter and divulged information starting with a 15% boost in the ESRAM performance on the Xbox One, provided by a tool called Pix. So, not only is the CPU getting an increase, the GPU is getting an increase, and also the ESRAM is getting an increase by 15%. We say, oh, 15% is not a lot, there's nothing to slap your mama about, but we're talking about a closed environment. Developers are going to have access to this really fast RAM in ways that they only dreamed about. The ESRAM is getting its own API. So, not only is the Xbox One getting a new API Direct X12, so is the ESRAM. Take you guys back. I'm about to slap the shit out you. Take you back to two years ago when Alan Pinello said there were things not yet known about our system. You know, we have some of the smartest people working for us. The Xbox One is continually evolving, ladies and gentlemen. Do you see where I'm going with this? Now, I know uh, Phil Spencer came out on stage, made some very vague statements yesterday. And people said, no, he was talking about the PC. But think about this like this. Why would the president of the Xbox division be talking about your gaming rig receiving a 20%, the GPU receiving a 20% boost? We know that's false because Brad Waddell and other developers already came out and said that they've seen increases up to the 40 to 60% on their GPUs using DirectX 12, ladies and gentlemen. We already know this. The Xbox, and what's so hard to believe about the Xbox One receiving a, a boost in performance of the GPU of 20% is Microsoft's API. Like, it, it, they already, when Phil's already said, we, you know, we were building the Xbox One with DirectX 12 in mind. We also know about DirectX, I mean, Windows 10. Like, god damn, this, even, listen, it's more, it's, it's, it, you guys would rather accept that the uh, Microsoft. Uh, Windows Pro Tapping, the Surface can receive a performance increase using the Red X12, but not the Xbox One, which is newer hardware. It, 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 it baffles the hell out of me, man. You know, but listen, not to say that, you know, the PS4 is not going to continue to get better. I'm not going to say it, but the way the PS4 and the Xbox One is built, I told you guys dating back then a couple of years ago, you guys called me a fanboy. I said the way that the PS4 is kind of put together is, is, is to give you all the performance you know, up front, the 1080p and, you know, all that shit up front. Well, first, the Xbox One is going to continue to evolve and continue to grow. I told you guys. I told you. So now we look. The, the, the CPU, you know, CPU-bound games are going to see a 50% proof in CPU usage. 
the GPU is getting a boost by 20%, and now also the ESRAM. Ladies and gentlemen, you remember what Next Gen said? Don't be surprised if the Xbox One becomes a more efficient machine than the PlayStation 4. You guys caught me a fanboy. You know, you remember? You remember that? You remember that you caught me an Xbox? I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. We're talking about one of the wealthiest companies in the world, okay? Who is not strapped for cash, okay? You understand what I'm saying? You say, oh, they, they, they gimped that on specs because of the connect. You guys don't know what the hell you're talking about. Those earlier numbers for the, P the PS4 and the Xbox One, it was comparing shaders and all that stuff. Microsoft never set what GPU they were using, ladies and gentlemen. Come to find out that the Xbox One, first of all, everything in the Xbox One is custom, but come to find out it has one of AMD's latest GPU that can, uh, you know, handle, you know, dual commands, read and write at the same time, whatever you want. You know, I'm not going to get all too much into technical, mechanical jumbo mumbo shit, but just know that the Xbox One is a very, very capable machine. You guys keep saying, oh, it, it can't do 1080p. Ladies my, ladies and gentlemen, my, my, my God, my God, my God. But anyway, enough of this shit here. Congrats to Microsoft for building a hell of a machine. And this console war has yet to start, I'm telling you. Once they stop developing games for the PS3 to 360 and stop, because think about it, the games, even like I said, even though they, they even if, if a separate team makes a game for the PS4 and a separate game makes a game for the PS3 to 360, they still have to be equivalent to DirectX 9. So once they start focusing on DirectX 11 and higher and stop worrying about having to port these games to, to last generation consoles, we're going to see a big advance. You know what I'm saying? Look at Rise, and that was just a launch game. Rise was a launch game, launch game, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But this is your boy, NextGen720. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, because Daddy bought to play Halo. And as I always say, bang, bang. <laughs> Damn, dog. <laughs>